Welcome, travelers. I am Kusatsu Arimar IV, Lord of the Baths. Your arrival in our nation has made quite the splash. I hear it, you fight the Empire. If you need anything at all, just say the word. I will happily pool my resources for you. Thank you, your lordship. As a matter of fact... A ship, you say? Why, that's as simple as soap and water. My favorite lacquered gondola is at the docks, adorned ornately with the Arima family crest. Please, think of it as your own. Another rowboat. Uh, actually, we were looking for something a bit more ocean-worthy. And bigger. Hmm, that's one idea down the drain. And yet, I fear it is my only vessel. If only there were some way to... But no, that's impossible. What's impossible? Alas, an intractable clog. If you wish to venture into the open seas, I suggest you wait for a merchant vessel to call it port. But how long is that going to take? What are we going to do? Now, now, my friends, no need to get so lathered up. Come, let us nibble on something sweet, and we shall ponder this bubblesome issue together. Did you say something sweet? I did. It just so happens a traveling confectioner was recently drawn to our baths. He presented me with an offering of desserts, but I fear they will be too sweet for my sophisticated palate. Perhaps you will find them more to your liking. Hey! I bet these are from that traveling pastry chef we met back in Heart's Child! What luck! Maybe he has a boat for us, too! It's worth asking. Hmm... They're all different. Let's each pick one, and then we can go look for them. I don't care much for sweets, either, so I'll just have whatever's left over. Then it's just the three of us! First come, first served! I think I'll have un petit minute. What do you think you're doing? That's the one I wanted. Settle down, you two. There's no use fighting over cake. Right. Let's unclench those fists now. No, no, you, you don't need to crack your knuckles. I know. Why don't we let you decide who gets first dibs? Good idea. I'm sure you will choose wisely. Won't you, you? Murder girl. Why do I feel like I'm being sandbagged? You! I'm trusting you won't be swayed by any saucy wiles. Got it? Uh, uh, right. Whatever you say. In that case... Drizzled blooming Bavarois with party-colored flower petals and a dusting of pollen. It's almost too beautiful to eat, but eat it I must. Here goes. Oh la la! So magnifique, I could just die. Is it really that good? Heavens, is it ever? It's like a chorus line of butterflies dancing on my tongue, wearing little shoes of infinite delight. C'est divine. Je me sens comme papillon volutant à travers une nuit de fleurs. Whoa! It's so good she's lapsing into moonlish. Well, guess it's my turn. All right. Uh, wait, what happened to Magnolia? Magnolia? Are you all right? Magnolia! Something's definitely wrong. It's like she can't even hear us.
I feel like I've seen this look before. Of course, the people in Heart's Child. There must be something in the cake. Bathzooks, could it have been poisoned? I don't know, but we shouldn't eat anymore. Let's throw it out. <laughs> That's no way to treat my delectable delicacies. I remember you. You're the pastry chef from Heartsfest. What did you put in the cake? No artificial ingredients, if that's what you're implying. Just pure, unadulterated genius. My creations don't just taste magical, you see. They have certain... effects on the eater. These cakes include an extra dash of inspiration I added just for you. Taste and behold the result, my dear diners. A one-way ticket to heaven. Huh? Qu'est-ce qui m'arrive? What's happening to me? Magnolia! I'm... I'm disappearing! Aled! Please! Help me! You! What? What did you do to her? Didn't we just go over this? My cakes are so divine, anyone who tastes one is whisked straight off to heaven. Of course, in heaven you have no body, and you can't move or talk. I like to call it death by delicious. <laughs> hmm. Wait a minute. It was you, wasn't it? All those poor people in Heart's Child. That's right. And they savored every moment. This doesn't make any sense. Unless you're working for... <gasps> Angelo Ovio Panettone. Patissier non parel. Charmed, I'm sure. Personal confectioner to the Kaiser. And proud owner of the Patissier Asterisk. My boss was sick of you meddling in his affairs, so... Here I am. Ladies! Yes, Chef! Right on cue. Now let's hear it. My sweets are... To die for! My face is... To die for! And these losers can... Go to heaven! It's time for dessert! Lick their plates clean! I am Angelo Panettone, holder of the Patissier Asterisk. By whisk and by spatula, I create a profusion of pastries, a symphony of sweets. The women of the world swoon at the taste of my delicacies and the sight of my face. Heavenly.
You're the ones who took out Amy? Uh, wait, you're the darling she was going on about? Uh, don't remind me. Yes, she was fond of that word. But I assure you, I was not her darling. I show her a little bit of kindness, and the woman is hopelessly enamored with me. <sighs> not the first time that's happened, of course. But over and over, sweetie this, darling that. I can't stand the clingy types. You're a real jerk, you know that? Can't you see that she loved you? <laughs> that's rich, coming from the kid who beat her in battle. You think I wanted to come all the way out here to play babysitter? Yet here I am, all because she couldn't take care of business. That woman continues to give me nothing but grief. You cared about that girl, didn't you? Why else would you come looking for revenge? Revenge? Is that what you think this is about? That girl was nothing more than a tool to me. Like my spatula. If my spatula broke, you bet I'd be annoyed. I actually feel sorry for you. You had someone who really cared about you. And you're comparing her to a spatula. You're really starting to get on my nerves. What do you know about me? What happened between Amy and I is our business. So shut up and die already! <laughs>
all my work, my genius ruined, my pride, my passion, that I suffer the same fate as that woman is just icing on the bitter cake of... What are you waiting for? Finish me and end this cruel farce. But... You don't want to dirty your spotless hands? To think I lost to the likes of you? Then you leave me no choice but to do the deed myself. Heaven, here I come! What? No! Put down the cake! <laughs> This... this ring... It's that cheap trinket I gave Amy. There's a note tied to it? To my sweet darling. If you're reading this, I guess it means I'm pushing up daisies. I'm sorry for letting you down. I was never good enough for you. But I loved you more than anyone in the whole wide world. Growing up in the woods, all I ever ate was roots and bark and wild animals and stuff. I didn't even know what cake was until we met. But that first bite I took, holy cow! I couldn't believe anything so sweet could exist in this world. So I decided I'd be sticking with you, whether you liked it or not. If I hadn't have met you, I probably never would have seen the outside of those woods. You made my world a bigger place, darling. Thank you. Your sweet sugar cake. Amy. P.S. You want to know what made me happiest? When I slept in on Sundays and you made me a special pancakes. I'd give anything just to taste them again. So listen. If you ever loved me, even just for a second, do me one last favor. Stop fighting. Open the pancake shop instead. Then everyone in the world can be as happy as I was. Sweet darling, a thousand times I asked her. Even now, in my lowest moment of failure, she won't knock it off. Aggravating to the end, that woman. Oh, where are you going? Uh, next time we meet, you'll get your just desserts. I'll serve you... The best pancakes you've ever had. Phew, he was one tough cookie. Wait, aren't we forgetting something? It's Magnolia! We never asked him to bring her back! Oh no, now what do we do? We have no idea where he was headed either. We can't just leave her like this! Magnolia's scared. I can't see her, but I can tell. Me too. We have to do something. Well done, my noble friends. You washed the dirty scoundrel right out of our hair. It was a schwitz watching from my comfortable hiding spot, but I never saw a truer display of heroism. If not for your quick action, our peaceful nation would truly be in hot water. As a token of my eternal gratitude, I would bestow upon you a lifetime Unohana bath port. A bath? Yes, like a passport, but with a B and a lisp. With it, you are free to make use of our baths whenever you wish. That's very generous of you, your lordship, but we don't have much time for hanging out in hot springs. Hmm. W wait a minute. Of course! The hot springs! The baths here are supposed to cure all ills. Maybe it would work on Magnolia, too! Really? Sounds like a long shot. It's worth a try. I'll go get a bucket of water. Here it is. Oh, that's hot. Magnolia must be somewhere around here. Try splashing it around. Okay, here it goes. Grace is short! Look, she's back! Wow, it really worked! It's a little scary how well it works. But all's well that ends well. Without a doubt. Oh, la vache, I thought I was going to be stuck like that forever. 
There's nothing a good bath can't solve. Indeed, cleanliness is next to godliness. Now that that mess is all cleaned up, I insist you stay the night and enjoy our hospitality. <sighs> you know, a bath would be good right now. What do you say, everyone?